Hi guys, today I'm going to show how to install uh, Nemesis Phonix on Samsung Galaxy by GTS 5360. First of all, download all the files given in the uh, description. Please do not use any type of uh, CWM. Power off your phone. Let's go through the procedure. It's shutting down. Now you have to go to the recovery mode. For that, uh, press the power button, volume up button, and home button simultaneously. As the logo comes, you can uh, leave your but uh, leave the buttons. You are in the recovery mode right now. You can see here the mm, the sense is not working now. Touch is not working. So you have to scroll up and down with your volume up and volume down button. And select with your home button, and uh, the back button is active. So now, uh, wipe data and reset. It is the third option. Click yes. Wipe cache partition. And now, apply update from SD card. The second option, and select the CWM file which I had given. Please do not use any other CWM. This is uh, dedicated to this room. So it is CWM Mad Team by Galaxy Y. Click on it. And now you are in the CWM clockwork recovery mode. And now you have to uh, wipe the data reset over here also. Wipe cache partition. And now you have to go to the mounted storage and look whether all are mounted or not. If it is not mounted, mount it. First four should be mounted. And now you have to go for uh, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and uh, select the file which we want. It's uh, an MSX, an MSX Phonix signed version. Click yes, and now it's installing the Aroma installer. It's the Aroma installer now, and now you can see the touch is uh, reactivated. And now uh, click next button. This is the agreement from the Nemesis team. So click agree. Check the agree box and uh, go next. Again click on the next. Next. And now you have to install the second option. It is install Nemesis 1. And click next. Check the reboot the device after installation. And again click next. And now it's installing the ROM, which is Nemesis 1 Phoenix. You can see over here, it is uh, showing the percentage over here, that how much procedure is uh, going on. The procedure takes a little time, it's a, as it is extracting the file. It takes a while, please don't panic. It's installing. After the installation is completed, it will be uh, come in the written written text that the installation has been completed. It takes a little time. It's installing the system files. The procedure is almost to complete. It's installing. Please do not panic. And I recommend to keep uh, your battery charge more than 50% before doing this. It's installing.
yeah 20 percent the installation is completed it's written up so it is going to be finishing right now yeah the installing is completed uh, now click on the next button and you will get option for rebooting select on the reboot button now uh, my installer finished and it's going to be rebooting now the phone will reboot now the first rebooting will take a little time so please do not panic it's rebooting the phone is getting rebooted now if you see more than uh, if you see the Samsung Galaxy Y Young logo more than five minutes uh, so you have to press your power button uh, for two to three seconds to renew it so that you will not face any boot loop yeah it is rebooting now as you see uh, the boot animation is not too good uh, you can change it the booting has finished and now it's going to be coming to the home page it also take time so please do not panic as the boot finishes uh, you can it's a guarantee that your phone will be getting started It's loading the home page right now. Loading home page may take time as it is the first uh, first time it's loading the home page of Nemesis it's a quite uh, good room it is based on uh, takes time yeah the home page is loaded now uh, please so uh, wait a while uh, so that the signal bars and everything come is the home page the signal bar yeah it's come right now as you can see uh, the media scanning is running so it's a little bit slow yeah you can see over here many uh, much new items over here it's uh, the new items are the MSC 2G 3G mode USB debugging and uh, power off and reboot has come over here on the notification panel it is uh, quite different from the old version of Nemesis you can see over here Pre-installed apps are uh, Chainfire 3D and so a new logo for uh, Super User and Link to SD is in pre-installed. I'll show you at a glance of the settings. Uh, there are many settings layout also. The new one is uh, I think so, LG User Interface 3.0 Touch with 5.0, and uh, the two are the old one Jelly Bean and the Paranoid User Interface. You can see this is uh, Jelly Bean. Jellybean setting you can see I'll show you the version at a glance uh, it's Nemesis 1 Phonix Veronix and this is the Android version 4.2.1 it's uh, Nemesis 1 4.2 Jellybean it's a good ROM I suggest you to do, use this one if you are looking for the speed and smoothness that's all with this video. Thank you for watching my video. Comment if you have any problem of for the installation and uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.